My name is Sagar Dev Raju and I'll be talking about Even's Loss Partitioning on Commission Problem. Even's Loss Partitioning allows a tester to divide a large input domain into a relatively smaller number of subdomains. For Commission Problem, it is defined as follows. Logs cost $45 each, stocks cost $30 each, valves cost $25 each. The salesperson has to sell at least one complete wire for per month and the maximum we can sell are 70 locks, 80 stocks, and 90 barrels. The commission he makes are as follows. On sales up to and including $1,000, he makes 10%. On sales up to and including $800, he makes 15%. On sales in excess of $1,800, he makes 20%. We have to calculate the total commission he makes and find faults in the program, if any. This is the algorithm for the program. Moving on to test case design, we have a set of valid and invalid inputs. For the valid class of inputs, logs should be in the range of 1 and 70, logs equal to minus 1, which is to break out of the loop, stocks in the range of 1 and 80, barrels in the range of 1 and 90. Now for the invalid class of inputs, they are logs equal to 0 or logs equal to minus 1 or logs greater than 70, stocks less than 1, stocks greater than 80, Bows less than 1, bows greater than 90. For weak robust, it is called single fault assumption. In this, there will be a maximum of one invalid input. To verify the program works as intended, let us put 10, 10, and 10. The sales would be 1000 and expected output would be 100. Let us verify it is true. And as shown, the total sales are 1000 and the commission is 100. Similarly, if log is minus 1, the program must terminate. And as shown, the program terminates successfully. Similarly, if any if stock is negative, it should show stock as out of range and successfully it shows the same. Similarly, we will check a positive number out of range. Log's upper limit is 70, so let's put 73. And as such, it shows log is not in the range. Moving on, let us also confirm if this works 10, 9, and 10. The total sales will be 970, and 10% of that is 97. And as such, it shows successfully the exact number. Moving on to strong robust, it is called multiple fault assumption. In this, there will be one or more incorrect invalid inputs. Weak robust is a sub subset of strong robust, so you can put those values in this as well. But let us move on to directly to strong robust, which is multiple invalid inputs. Consider SR4. Lock and stock are negative. So it should show log as out of range and stock as out of range as well. And as shows, it shows log is not in range and stock is not in range. Similarly, if all three are negative, it should show log stocks and barrels are not in range. And this is how strong robust works. I hope this makes you understand how weak and ro strong robust works in software testing and commission problem. Thank you and have a nice day.